Uh, when I went into work today, I didn't think, you know, some lunatic's going to get a hold of his gun and be disgruntled and go out and start killing us, especially one of our own. You know, we're a tight group. We all jump out of airplanes together, and we all, uh, there's a real bond that forms there. And you don't expect one of your own to come to work one day and start shooting people indiscriminately because he's disgruntled at the way work's going. And that's what we hear exactly tonight, that it was a disgruntled employee, a Fort Bragg soldier. Now, David Ivey's been following that story. He'll join us in a moment. But first, we go to our Nola Woods, who is standing by live at the Army's Womack Army Medical Center. Nola, tell us what you know about the injured there at Womack. Well, thanks, Dallas. Yeah, this was really the busiest place all day today. All 21 of the victims were all taken here. 13 are still in the hospital tonight. The other eight, well, they've been treated and released. One of the most seriously injured, well, he remains at Duke University Medical Center tonight. He was shot in the neck. And doctors say he is partially paralyzed. But back here at Fort Bragg, well, soldiers talked about what they saw and how they felt. There's no way you could predict, you know, how you're going to react or feel out. I have to say, it, you know, it shook me up. It was a surprise, I think, to everybody, and hopefully it's something that will never happen again. For those still in the hospital, their family still remains here with them. And tonight, those family members and, of course, the victims, well, they're all wondering how someone could do such a thing. That's something that David Ivey is looking into, who the suspect is. David? Thanks, Nola. It's been 12 and a half hours since this tragedy. Military authorities tell us they can't release the suspect's name. So what can I tell you about him? First, that he drove this car to this ridge. This is the view he had as he shot at 1,300 soldiers. Investigators have recovered three weapons from this site, two of those weapons being a semi-automatic rifle and a pistol. Sources tell us the suspect is an A company of the 4th Battalion of the 325th Infantry Regiment. These sources also tell us the soldier had had a recent problem with an inspection and may have been trying to get revenge on his superiors today.